Okay. Yeah, thank you. Now we're to item B6 on the agenda, which I don't, since I've only written on my thing, I don't have the uh, application number. It's uh, AR 024. Um, so, uh, John, can you give us a quick summary of this? Uh, so this is a relatively straightforward, hopefully, uh, zoning amendment. I've actually gotten, I've actually got two additional tweaks to it um, that we're just looking for a receipt this evening. Um, I'll hand it out first. Yeah, just one page. Thank you. Um, good. So uh, this is basically this uh, modification to the uh, use table in section 27. So it'll be 27.1, 27.2, and actually 27.3, which I neglected, which is the floating zones. So the two changes that I would point out from the thing that was sent around last week Thursday, I believe. Um, this would regulate solid waste, and then I added the three words, which are uh, italicized, underlined, or construction debris disposal, <coughs> recycling, material transfer, compost, or outdoor storage materials not associated with retail or contractor business, and then two subcategories, one being less than 250 feet from existing residentially zoned land, and the other being more than 250 feet from existing residentially zoned land. Um, and of section 27.1, 27.2, and 27.3, which is the floating zone, and currently the only floating zone is AHD1. Um, the only place where this would be allowed, and only by special exception, would be in the IP district. It would be prohibited in all other districts. Um, so a, a relatively narrow uh, allowance for this type of use. Um, given sort of public health and safety concerns um, and concerns of uh, residential properties that are very close to commercial industrial properties. Um, so this would be just the proposal. Um, if the commission would like to entertain it, you would want to schedule it for a public hearing at the nearest available um, opportunity because this does affect, this does add a regulation to all, all areas of town. You would have to refer to the COG. Um, and to abutting, abutting towns, so um, it will be at least at least 35 days out. Make a motion to receive the and schedule for public hearing July 30th. Okay. I'll second it. At 7 o'clock. Public meeting when? Public hearing, July 30th at 7 o'clock. What can we do with the... Uh, because 35 days. 35 days from what? what? From, uh, from the 35 days in advance of the start of the public hearing. So you have to you have to dial it back because you are uh, statutorily obligated to notify the region and abutting municipalities because this affects zones. Well, why why couldn't we do that this this is June uh, the 11th? Why couldn't we do that this week? We can, but then you have to wait 35 days. Okay, so 35 days from when we notify. Correct. Okay. So no matter when we notify, it still passed the uh, right. So our right. I mean, July is there. Okay. Did we get a second on that? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. There's no, there's discussion. There's no other way to do that fast. Uh, not without opening yourself up for a potential legal challenge on the back end. Just uh, wording construction debris, um, Construction or demolition debris be uh, more inclusive. Sure, I have no, I have no objection to that. Sorry, I so, construction or demolition. You repeat that. I was suggesting the wording, uh, expanding it instead of just construction debris, to make it construction or demolition debris. Thank you. And or. So I would actually this just. just You'll, you'll get a copy of this, obviously, in advance of the hearing, but I would actually change the or in the first line to a comma. It would be solid waste, comma, construction, comma, or demolition debris. Okay. And that would obviously be carried through 
in 27.2 and 27.3. I should also note, if I didn't make it clear enough, the, the table for 27.3 under AHD1 floating zone, it would be an X. Again, a question about the wording. You talk about uh, disposal, recycling, transport, compost, or outdoor storage. Uh, so this, for the construction debris and those other materials, um, they're prohibited from, from processing both indoors and outdoors. Is that correct? Yes. That's how I read it. Any further discussion? People that you don't hear. What is the intent of this? Where, where, what, what was the, where did this originate? What are we trying to do? We're, um, what we're trying to do here is to um, make sure that uh, we don't have construction waste being brought in. Uh, from outside the panel. So in other words, we want all our construction debris to go somewhere else? Well, there, we have several places which will be, that are already existing that, that are in our town. That are in our town. So this would prevent any... So we're okay with other people taking all of our waste, but we don't want to take care of any of the waste. That sounds well. Not in new facilities. Um, <clears throat> The, um, so, <clears throat> currently we have a facility up on Nod Road that does exactly this, that we, I think, approved unanimously. So, but under this regulation, it wouldn't even be permitted in the first place. It depends on where on Nod Road. But I believe the IP that abuts Nod Road at some points. At some points, it's in I2. Well, it's within 250 feet of an existing residential land. So. So, I've, I've got some struggles with this, you know. This, this could mean a lot of things. We don't want to be green. You know, part of this is we don't want construction debris. But part of this is also that we don't want, uh, you know, recycling of material if I might mr. chairman yes I, I recommend with all due respect to, to mr. Skitt, um thoughtfulness uh, of this I would recommend that perhaps wait to the public hearing well how do I decide whether I want to vote to send it to public hearing if I don't know it I mean I'm with you you don't usually ask the questions before the public hearing but I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm voting on then you ought to be careful how you vote While you're thinking about that, that bottom, so wait, if I read this, this, this excludes the compost in the residential area, so I have to go home and tell my wife she's going to take her little half yard pile out of the backyard. That's a good point. Um, we, should, we should clarify, we should clarify that this is, I mean, again, this is intended for <coughs> commercial, all of those, that, that perhaps. Right, but that's not how it reads. Right, it's so, so I mean, if, if, I'll have to take a look to see if the word commercial at the this, start this of this would, would modify all of that to, to allow, you know, private homeowner composting, which I think is reasonable. These also would exclude outdoor storage of materials not associated with retail or contractors' business. Yeah. So if it was associated with retail, any of these areas could now have outdoor storage of materials? Or the the distinction, the distinction we made there was it would be the um, landscapers or contractors that, that do have outdoor storage. Um, you know, if you have a, a landscape business that has a retail component, obviously you have, you know, a few piles of mulch or stone or something like that, um, that we're trying to draw as the, the distinction. But that would still be allowed. Correct. So I yeah I do think at the beginning of this perhaps we would add some sort of omnibus um, modifier that that we're referring to commercial 
um, or industrial operations that involve the following items. Yeah. What about um, the uh, excavation well that's on that? that how does that impact the risk? I think the earth excavation, I think, is defined pretty pretty clearly separately. That, yes. that it's a distinct. I think we have operations in place that have that have asphalt, you know, done this concrete picking in and things like that. And that's not a gravel. It, it has been but it would be recycling that. or material transfer. I believe it was. As well, most or quite a few of those facilities also accept stumps, brush, and the wood chips as part of their business. I would say that this is not ready for public hearing, just based on some of the questions that we brought up in five minutes. Further discussion? No, I think the, Mr. Chairman, I think the tweaks that you made about commercial, I think it's ready. Uh, we made the tweaks to sit around. We have a public meeting, as we said. It only makes so much of a tweak once it goes to a public hearing, and you can't change it substantially. And I, I think there may be some substantial change. I, I mean, I've only looked at this for five minutes now. I didn't think we'd be talking about it tonight. And if we send it to the public hearing as as it currently stands, there's a good chance that it will get um, denied. I'd rather get it right and then put it in front of not to the public. Not to mention, I don't think he gets to tweak that much, right? Once we accept it, well, it's to go to public he, hearing. He the tweaks that we just discussed. That's about it. Yeah, I think again, that, looking back from the you said the, the motion was to set the public hearing was on July 30. So as as long as all of the appropriate parties, the COG, receives whatever you know the version that that is intended to be the public hearing version, 35 days ahead, we can we can make tweaks up to that. Any other comments? <coughs> And then all those in favor of uh, scheduling the public hearing for July 30th at uh, 7 p.m. In favor? Okay. And opposed? Okay. Thank you. The motion carries.